Okay guys, so today I am going to show you troubleshooting issues with communication with the DirectLogic 06 PLC and your personal computer. So what we are going to use today is of course the DirectLogic 06 PLC and we will use the RS-232 to USB adapter that Automation Direct sells. Using these adapters they get problematic because of using COM ports. The USB doesn't care which COM port it uses, it just wants to change it and go. Well, the DirectLogic software likes to just keep the same COM port, and today I will show you how to get everything matching again if you are having communication issues. The first communication issue you might have is your little switch here. You do not want your little switch in stop. You do not want your little switch in run. If you're having issues, just put that thing right to terminal. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's right in the middle on terminal. Go ahead and click, uh, or put in my RS-232 wire there. Go ahead and follow that down to the adapter. Grab my USB. Go ahead and plug in your USB. Alright, so now we are going to try to connect. The connection is the same in D uh, Direct Logic 6 as it is in 5. I'm going to go ahead and use 5 here. I'm going to go ahead and click on Direct Soft 5 Programming. And then when you open this up, it's going to ask which CPU you're using. I'm, of course, using the Direct Logic 06. And to figure that out, just look right on your PLC. There we go, Direct Logic 6. All right, go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to go ahead and connect. And right away it says command links not responding. So I have an issue. I go ahead and hit retry a million times, not going to do anything. And I could go ahead and click on PLC and click connect, and it'll tell me the last time I was working it was on COM port 3. So my COM ports must have changed. So what I'm going to do to fix this, I'm going to go ahead and close out all automation direct stuff. Go ahead and click on the start button. From the start button, click on settings, devices, scroll down all the way to the bottom to device manager, and scroll down again until you see ports, comms, and LPTs. Go ahead and click on that. And there is my USB to serial connection. If you're not sure, if you have a lot of comms listed or LPTs, go ahead and just unplug your USB. Unplugged. And when you unplug it, um, you might still have comms listed if you have others or it's just going to go away. What I'm going to do though is go ahead and just plug it back in. The device manager will automatically populate. And there is my USB to serial. Now you can see that it's already using COM port 1. And the automation direct software is trying to use COM port 3 or 4 or who knows what it's going to use. But I'm going to go ahead and click on this and make sure it is COM port 1. And to do this, or to change the COM settings, go ahead and just click on it. Go to Port Settings. And you've got all your data bits and everything there, but you don't have your COM port. And it's not anywhere else except in your Advanced tab here. So go ahead and click Advanced. And in here you can change your COM port to whatever you want. I can see right away that COM port 2 is being used, COM port 3 is being used, but COM 4 and 1 are open, so I'm going to go ahead and click 1. You could also see you could use whatever you want, but we're just going to use one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. I'm going to go ahead and click OK on that, and of course it's one. Alright, so I'm going to close out of all those settings. Uh, again, now I'm going to load up the DirectSoft Launch 5. And if I wanted to, in this screen, I can actually click on my com links down here, and I could see that it's not connecting, everything says disabled. Cannot access the COM port. So what I'm going to do is click on my DirectSoft 5 programming, load it back up, make sure you click on the CPU you want to use, click OK. And now I'm going to go to the PLC and connect. And then this time it's, I could try connecting again, hit select. Oh, COM port's not working, so go ahead and click cancel. Go to the PLC, click on connect, click on edit this time. From edit, what I'm going to do is make sure my PLC is alright, which it is. The 
CPU I'm using is 06. Go ahead and click on port. And from port, under devices, it says it was using 4 last time. This time I'm going to click 1. I'm also just going to change it up here so I know. COM1. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and click accept. And from accept, it's going to also give me the error because it might need to change some uh, some serial stuff. So what I'm going to do is click on auto now. Now that it is on, and it's going to try now COM port 1, address 1, and different baud rates. And it should figure it out on its own this way. Make sure though you do have the wrong COM connected, otherwise it's just going to always give you an error. It's going to run through all its stuff. And hey, my Windows just said, yeah, everything's good, so I'm going to go ahead and accept the settings again. I'm going to go ahead and select, select, and look at that, it's reading the PLC. I can also say, okay, use the PLC. And there is some ladder logic that was running to turn on some relays. That is how you can troubleshoot, change your COM port, make sure again that you're in the terminal, uh, terminal position on your selector switch, make sure these are all plugged in and you should be good to go. Thank you.